it's really important to think about the why. Are you doing it because you're looking to make a move professionally? Are you doing it because you want to grow more in a certain topic or an area or take on some leadership positions? What's your reason? What's your reason for it? Who now and in the future are going to be able to help you to achieve those goals that you are seeking? Because those professional relationships are not something that can be bought with money. You cannot go out and buy yourself a network. Is you're building out this tool that will help you to reach other people, to achieve the goals and the dreams that you have for yourself, while also helping others to achieve their goals and dreams as well. So think about that. You want to be deliberate. You want to be specific. You want to be consistent, all right? Well, you know, when you get an opportunity, you got two things that can happen. You can either give or receive. And when you receive, guess what? You can give again. If you want to be able to achieve the goals that you are going to write down, you then have to make sure that you can pair up and acknowledge who in your existing network may be able to help and facilitate that growth or if you need to find someone new getting that input, showing that gratitude, reflecting on what you learned from them, and then applying that knowledge. That is the key. It is a complete waste of your time if you do not apply what you've learned from them. Let me say that again. Building a professional network is an investment in your career. Mr. Jakes talks about that as well and about reaching out to artists and activists and entrepreneurs and all kinds of different people that it doesn't look like there should have anything in common. But when you share with people, you learn things that are unexpected or in unexpected ways that will inspire you to take another step, that will lead you to think a different way and thereby continue your growth and continue your ability to share with others. Because you're not talking about just trying to figure out what you can get from someone right now. We're talking about what it is that you can do to help build a mutually beneficial relationship so that long term you can support each other. That means you have to continually grow. You have to grow yourself and you have to grow your network. I'm not talking about folks who just blow smoke, but I'm talking about folks who are truly vested in your best interest unrelated to their own. Those are the type of people I want you to give thought to. You are going to want to follow up. That is where the gold is. Most people still do not follow up on projects, on people, whatever it is. And the goal is in the follow-up because you're showing that you're caring. You're showing a level of care. You're showing a level of commitment. So do the work, make the call, send the email, write the note, and then because you're writing it all down, you are gonna want to make sure that you follow up.